reviewed an article for this month's recovery edition of My Mad Methods magazine. With Evolution Kettlebell Groundwork, we're really teaching a lot about hip mobility and it's a movement-based system. My coaches and I all practice a mobility-based system, something that really puts mobility at a, a very high value. And something that we really want to make sure that people understand is more movements, not necessarily better movement. So this article is really about hip mobility and stability at the same time. We want to stabilize the spine, stabilize the pelvis as we go through this sequence. So bigger motions, not necessarily better motion. Let's go ahead and go through four simple drills. And what we're going to do is just demo them, make sure you understand what the primary cues are, and then give you a circuit format for you to follow. And you can let me know how your hips feel as a result of practicing. Okay, so we're gonna start with a really reinforcing a, a nice tall posture, shoulders back. We're gonna neutralize our pelvic position here by taking the arch out of our lower back, staying nice and tall, pressing our feet down into the ground, and we're gonna narrow our base. I'm using these poles here just to reinforce a nice tall posture, pulling my shoulders back. If you, if you just use a wall as a reinforcement, I would suggest it just so you're not wobbling side to side. I want it to be strong on my base foot, and I'm gonna swing the opposite leg front to back, keeping my toes pointing forward, up on the upswing, and down, narrow with the opposite foot on the back swing. We're gonna keep your navel pointing straight forward for all of these drills. And just so you can see what I'm trying to do as I turn to the side, notice my back doesn't arch in the back swing, okay? It's really easy to do two things. Turn the toe out, which opens the hip, and also to overextend and try to arch the lower back. We want to avoid both of those things, okay? You're gonna be doing 12 of these front leg swings. Now the second drill we're going to do is going to cross over, toe pointing forward, and then out to the side, lifting the edge of the foot. The ankle is the priority here, okay? So as I stay tall, trying to keep nice and tall from foot to the crown, I'm lifting up to the outside edge. I'm not swinging. I want you to think about lifting. By lifting, I mean you should be able to hold the top position for a split second statically before you go on to the next rep. Again, to show you from the side, staying nice and tall, lifting the edge of the foot, the ankle side of the foot out to the side. Try to stay as tall as you can, keep everything in frame. You're going to be doing 12 of these lateral leg lifts or swings. You really want to think lift, not swing, right? 12 on that side. So, same side leg, 12 forward and back, 12 out to the side. Next one is circles. Plant that same foot down. We're gonna pull the toes back. Think about wax on, wax off here. Pull the toes back. You're drawing a circle out front. Now, when I'm drawing a circle out front, same rules apply. My belly button, my navel, should point true and forward the whole time. I don't want to create a big motion. Watch what happens. I can create a big circle, but notice all that extra movement. My hips are turning. I want to reinforce stability on this base leg. So push down to that ground, stay tall. Shoulders back, wax on for eight in one direction, wax off for eight in the other direction. Really simple drills, but how you do them is going to be a big part of what type of value you can get out of it. Okay? Eight circles in front, 12 directions. Same thing out to the side. We're going to go, we did that leg lift out to the side, staying nice and tall, pushing down into the space leg. We're going to circle out to the side. Height and range of motion in terms of how big of a range of motion is not necessarily the focus. The focus is still down here on this base leg, okay? So the circles are more downward rather than big motions. If you see how that changes my posture, I wanna stay stable and work this leg hip and, and hip, okay? You're gonna feel the outside of this glute firing off really hard. So, really simple circuit, 12 swings forward and back, keeping everything nice and tight, framed in. 12 lateral lifts to the side, lifting with the heel edge of the foot, thinking about the blade edge of the foot rather than toe up, okay? Now, here's the second part of it, circles out front, eight to each direction, right? And then circles out to the side, eight to each direction. You're gonna be doing one round, which is we just described, 12, 12, eight, eight. One round on each side, and repeat for three to five rounds. Now, if you make it through more than three rounds, and you actually uh, can take another step away from where you started, 
without feeling like you have jello for legs and hips, then you probably have better mobility than me. I'd love to see you practicing the drills. Feel free to let me know what you think about it. Simple and not necessarily easy. Thank you.